there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I agree with that statement. There's no place like home. But finding one's home, that place that just feels right, well, sometimes that's easier said than done and can often leave one feeling like Dorothy. Oh, no bags, okay. Cop, couldn't the cop. Thank you. Local shopping. Uh, I don't know, 12 bananas, something like that. 20 Thai baht. And two dragon fruit, almost one kilo. Uh, 80 baht. Personally speaking, I've never gotten it right on the first try. See, every single time I've moved to a new city or country, be it New York, Dallas, Santa Fe, or heck, even Tokyo, within a year's time after moving there, I'm moving again. And not because I question my decision to move there or because I dislike the city, N not at all. It's just that I found a different neighborhood within that city that better matched my lifestyle because it made for a better commute. Or more than likely, because the new place was simply cheaper, but more quiet. Today, I want to expand on why we moved from Koh Samui and more importantly, where exactly did we move to? We're not in Kansas anymore. When Tomo and I decided to leave Tokyo, we knew we wanted somewhere warm and somewhat close to Japan. So the early short list was Vietnam, Malaysia, and Thailand. But given the number of times we'd already visited Thailand, it quickly became the winner. Within the country, we had already been to Phuket, Krabi, and Hua Hin, and thought that all three had strong possibilities. Then we saw Koh Samui and our search was over. Samui has it all. Beautiful beaches, easy access to an airport, good hospitals, great food, and the Western conveniences that we desired. So five years after our initial plan to retire early was hatched, we packed up and moved to Southeast Asia to live on an island. We loved living on Samui, but it's a tourist destination for millions of people every year. And granted, that's both a plus and a minus. There are tons of quality restaurants to choose from, fantastic night markets, beautiful beaches, waterfalls, and a ton of things to do. But years ago, when we daydreamed about the kind of retirement we wanted, the overall goal was a slower and quieter life. And we think we found it. If that's your dream, then check out where we live now.
Kanome is just 30 minutes south of the Donsak Pier that connects Koh Samui to the mainland. Kanome is situated along the eastern coast of the Malay Peninsula, facing the Gulf of Thailand, and is about 780 kilometers south of Bangkok. Living here thus far, it feels like a small beach town. Nadan, or Kanom Beach, stretches nine kilometers and is dotted with resorts, bungalows, and beach houses. It's also where one finds most of the Western restaurants and therefore most of the foreign residents gather there. If one travels in that circle, it quickly becomes and feels like a small town where everyone knows your name. We have found it really easy to make new friends and a community where we feel welcome. We've barely scratched the surface, but one thing we are confident in saying, if you like fresh seafood, you will love Kanom. Cue the seafood. Tonight I will eat raw garlic. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> you, you'll be seeing me. No. Clean. Spicy. Spicy, sour, fish garlic. It's really soupy. Yeah, this is a southern Thai dish, right? I think so. Because she asked you before you, what did she ask you before you ordered it? Like, can you, you think, handle yeah, it? Yeah, can you handle it or can you eat it? Because Why? I think this is sour Why? and spicy. But I had this at other restaurant in the southern part of Thailand before. I think I had this twice and then I really liked it. Wow. Very flavorful. Anyone who likes fish should try this. Very good. But if I had one piece of advice for anyone thinking of moving to Thailand, it would be this. Rent before you consider buying. Take your time and find the place that really matches with your lifestyle and stay open to the potential that you might not get it just right on your first try. And that's fine. We have much to share with you and we look forward to doing that. In the meantime, do us a favor and hit that like button on your way out as that tells YouTube to share our videos with more people just like you. For now, we will see you in the next one.